we're here, man, at, at, at Paul Robeson High School today in Brooklyn on May 1st, M1, standing in solidarity with young people taking uh, active participatory roles in their democracy and their, uh, their constitutional rights for uh, petitioning their government for redress of their grievances, and their grievances are being shortchanged in the education system. The diversion of money for, for education to things like the prison industrial complex are not going to be stand for anymore, and so we're standing here in solidarity, waiting for them to walk out, exercising their rights, and for anyone who's thinking walking out of school is not good, remember, we're also promoting lifelong learning as part of a new educational uh, movement in the country, so the kids are not leaving the classroom to lose educational opportunities. They are, in fact, going to be a part of uh, teaching all day with other young people, uh, getting information and education that's vital to their ability to be uh, successful participants in their, in their government and in their community. The only way, the only way, excellent education will happen, excellent education will happen, right here in New York City, right here in New York City, if you have the power, if you have the power. Starting right now. I feel like we need our education. Why close the schools? Not all schools are going to have the best policies, but we're learning and we're trying. So I feel like it's unfair. And I hope that they stop closing the schools and they let Paul Rose stay. Solidarity! Solidarity! Students are willing to risk suspension, walk out, make a statement, and it's young people. And I hope for them it's, it's a, a first step towards continuing this work in, throughout their lifetimes, wherever it takes them. But to, you know, to realize they have a voice and they need to use that voice and, you know, to stand strong in that. I feel proud of my school. I'm proud. Because I didn't think our school would do anything. I thought we were just going to fall back and just let it happen, but we're not. We're standing up. And I'm proud of my school. What do you do when education is under attack? You stand up and you fight back. Oh, 